Hallo und willkommen zu German Lessons mit Mr. Ferguson. Hallo und herzlich willkommen zum Deutschunterricht mit Herrn Ferguson. Diese neunte Stunde über die Zeitformen, the ninth tenses lesson, ist wie man das Konditional perfekt benutzt. How to use the conditional perfect tense. Teil 1, Part 1. Before we start, bevor wir anfangen, please don't forget to like this video. Bitte klickt gefällt mir. And subscribe to my channel, so that I can keep helping you with your German. Bitte vergesst nicht zu abonnieren. In this lesson, we'll be looking at how to form what is called the conditional perfect tense. The perfect tense is normally used to express a completed action, and the conditional tense is used to say what would happen if another condition were met. The conditional perfect tense, therefore, can be used to give excuses, as it tells us what would have been done at a certain point in the past, if something else had happened. Let's look at some examples in English. I would have waited longer. We would have walked if the weather had been good. Would you have eaten the pizza? If you're confident using the perfect tense, this tense should be extremely easy. All you need to know is how to form the subjunctive versions of the verbs haben and sein. And if you aren't aware of how to do this yet, please go back and watch that video by clicking the banner now. To form the perfect tense, We have the word order, subject, helping verb, extra information, past participle. If you need to recap this tense, please click this banner now. To form the conditional perfect, all we have to do is use the subjunctive form of the helping verb. So, let's look at an example now. To say, I waited longer, would be, Ich habe länger gewartet. To make this into I would have waited longer, all we do is change the helping verb habe into its subjunctive form hätte. So the sentence becomes Ich hätte länger gewartet. I would have waited longer. Let's finish by translating the other examples I gave you. We would have walked if the weather had been good. As this example uses two clauses, Let's do the first one first. We walked would be wir sind gegangen. Or perhaps wir sind spazieren gegangen. If you want to say you went for a walk. Remember that we used a form of sein for the helping verb as there's movement when you walk. To make this conditional perfect, we simply swap sind with its subjunctive form, wären. Wir wären gegangen. We would have walked. Or, wir wären spazieren gegangen. We would have gone for a walk. To do the second clause, we need to use wenn, which is a subordinating conjunction. If you aren't sure how to use this, please go back and watch my video about word order with subordinating conjunctions by clicking the banner now. To say, if the weather had been good here, We are actually saying, if the weather would have been good. And so we need another conditional perfect sentence. The weather was good in the perfect tense is, das Wetter ist gut gewesen. To say the weather would have been good, therefore, is, das Wetter wäre gut gewesen. Finally, as we start the clause with wenn, we need to boot the verb wäre to the end of the clause. So the second clause is wenn das Wetter gut gewesen wäre. If the weather would have been good or if the weather had been good. And the final example, would you in formal singular have eaten the pizza? Hättest du die Pizza gegessen? To make this formal or informal plural, we just change the verb and the pronoun. For example, Hättet ihr, or hätten sie. And so that's how to form the conditional perfect tense. It's a very simple tense if you already know the subjunctive forms of haben and sein. So familiarity with these will definitely help. It's a good idea to pause the video now to recap how to change a perfect tense sentence into a conditional perfect tense sentence just by changing the voice of the helping verb from the indicative, the normal, to subjunctive as well as the complexities of combining this with a subordinating conjunction or boot word, such as wenn.
Habe ich etwas vergessen? If you're a native German speaker and think I've forgotten something important about the conditional perfect tense, please let me know in the comments. Bitte schreibt einen Kommentar. Also, please don't forget to click subscribe to receive all of my German lesson videos, language learning tips and updates. You can also follow me on Instagram with the username Herr Ferguson and on Twitter under at Herr Ferguson. To move on to the second part of this lesson about the conditional perfect with modal verbs, please click the thumbnail in the video. Otherwise, from me is Danke und auf Wiedersehen.